Why are we now seeing so much new deep sea footage like this baby colossal squid? A little one foot baby. It's adorable. And apparently it's going to grow to be huge. They filmed the squid with an ROV called Subbastion. You can send these little robots to just extreme pressures. Put digital video cameras on these remote operated vehicles, ROVs, and with a fiber optic or a wire coming back, you get live 4K video from the bottom of the ocean. It's exciting times we live in. So the fiber optic cable is running up to the ship, but then how does the internet get back to... Right. So the ship itself is wired with a 10 gigabit local area network, regular ethernet cables. And so the fiber optic comes up and it's converted and connected into that network. So all the people watching the video controlling the robot were on that local area network and able to communicate ethernet to fiber to the robot. Then the ship itself was on the internet through a VSAT satellite link. Very small aperture terminal. So this is a satellite dish that automatically turns and finds its way to a geosynchronous satellite over the equator providing internet. So that's about 22,000 miles up. By the time you bounce a signal off that and back down to Earth, then you get the response up to that satellite and back down to Earth. You're looking at three quarters of a second, a second of latency over this connection. So it's possible to get pretty good bandwidth. Once you start uploading the file, you can send lots of bits through the air and back down, but the latency is terrible. So when it comes to controlling this ROV, driving around the ocean, trying to follow a squid without running into it, it's a human being on the ship with very low latency. You can't do that over a VSAT link. But in general, for ships, there's a lot of connectivity options now. So there's VSAT, where you bounce off a geosynchronous satellite. There's Starlink, where you connect to a low Earth orbit satellite. Others like Kuiper are coming. There will be a lot more low Earth satellites competing soon. If you get closer to shore, there are a lot of ships that have LTE directional antennas. And from miles out, you can connect to a tower. Not in the middle of the ocean, but you know, if you can see land, you can probably get on the cellular network with the right antenna. Subscribe for more connectivity technology.